everyone, it's Rachel. Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you my easy everyday makeup routine for work. Over the last year and a half, my makeup routine for work has really changed quite a bit. I used to focus on perfecting my base and having fun with bronzer and blush and highlight and lipstick, but due to the mask mandate, all of those things are now hidden underneath a face mask. So my focus has really shifted to having lighter coverage on my skin and playing up my eyes a bit more. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate to having to wear a face mask all day long at work, so I hope that this video is helpful I'm to I'm going you. to jump right in and get started on my skin. And oftentimes I will just use a tinted sunscreen as my base and skip foundation altogether. So this morning I already applied sunscreen and I used Elta MD UV Physical SPF 41. This product is lightly tinted, it's fragrance-free, oil-free, and really great for sensitive skin. But for those of you who do prefer wearing a foundation to work, I would suggest choosing one that is lightweight but long-lasting. So today I'm going to apply my L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Serum Tinted Foundation. So I'm just going to apply a few drops onto the back of my hand and pick it up with a damp sponge. And I'm just gently pressing a very thin layer of foundation all over my skin. And this is really just to even out my skin tone and provide some lightweight coverage to last me throughout the day. Now I have a nice even skin tone and I'm going to apply some concealer and I'm using the Lancome Tante Idal Ultra Wear All Over Concealer in the shade 215. I'm only applying some concealer in the areas where I need some coverage, which is underneath my eyes, on my eyelids, and a little bit around my nose to conceal some redness. Now that the foundation and the concealer are on and we have a really nice even base for the rest of the makeup, I'm going to do my eye makeup next since that is the main focus of the look. So I will start with brows. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe. I really like this pomade because it is incredibly long lasting and very easy to apply. And I'm going to apply it with a very small thin angled brush. This is also by Anastasia Beverly Hills and what I do is I just pick up a little bit of the product and then swirl the brush into the cap to evenly disperse the product throughout the bristles so you don't apply too much product to the brows all at once. And also the key to using a pomade is just having a very light touch. You can always go back and add more. And if you hold your brush a little bit further back that will give you a lighter application of product. Now that my brows are lightly filled in, I will set them with a brow gel. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is the mini size of the clear brow gel. And I like this one because it really sets the brows in place without adding any extra color. Now for my eye makeup, I like to choose an eyeshadow palette that has a really nice range of shades from light to dark and is very neutral in color so that it's office appropriate. So I will be using the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow in Cream and Sugar and I really like this palette because it has a really good range of shades. It has a light matte shade which is perfect for under the brow. The two middle shades are really nice for the lid and for the crease. And then the darkest brown shade is great for lining the eyes or for defining the outer corner. So I'm going to start by picking up this lightest shade and sweeping that all under my brow bone and all over the lid to set my concealer. And next I'm going to pick up the second lightest shade and sweep that all over my lid. Now I'm going 
going to take a smaller fluffy brush and pick up some of this mid-tone brown shade and gently sweep that into the crease. and a little bit on the outer corner of the eye. I'm going to pick up a mixture of the two middle shades and sweep that all underneath my lower lash line. bit more definition in the outer corner, I will pick up a mixture of the darkest brown shade and mix it with that mid-tone brown shade. And I will pat off some of the excess on the back of my hand so that we don't apply too much at once. And I'm really just going to focus that on the outer corner of my eye into the crease where you can see it when my eye is open. And then taking a fluffy brush with no product on it, I'm just going to sweep over all of the shadows to blend out the edges and diffuse the look. For eyeliner, I'll be using a black eyeliner pencil just to line the top lash line and give some definition to the lashes. And to keep this eyeliner look easy, I'm not really winging it out, but I'm just going to flick it upwards at the outer corner for a lifted effect. I will also line my lower waterline with a nude pencil to make my eyes look brighter. And this step is optional, but you can also line your top waterline with the black pencil if you'd like to for a little bit more definition on your lashes. I'm going to apply Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Now that the eye look is complete, I will go back and add a little bit of bronzer and blush and lipstick, you know, just for those times where maybe we are in our office by ourselves or we're on our lunch break and we take our mask off and we just want to have a little bit of makeup on. I'll be using Physician's Formula. This is the Bronze Booster in the shade Light to Medium. And I'm just going to add a little bit of bronzer in the hollow of my cheek and on my forehead around my hairline and a little bit on the side of my nose. For blush, I'll be using the CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones in Refined Rose, and it's a really pretty palette because it has three different shades of pink, and I really like to use that lightest pink shade as a blush topper or as a highlight, which is what I'll be doing today. So it's a nice multitasking palette, and I'm really just swirling my brush kind of in all of the colors right now to get a nice shade of pink on my cheeks and I'm not applying too much just a little bit on the apples and sweeping upward to the temples and now I'm just going to go in with that light pink shade and just sweep right over the top of the cheekbones for a highlight for my lips I will be skipping lip gloss since that's really sticky and will likely get stuck to my face mask and just go in with lipstick so I am using a Revlon lipstick in the shade Demure and it's just a really pretty pinky peach color with a satin finish so 
is one of my go-to everyday shades of lipstick. It's just really pretty and it goes with pretty much any look. And if you want to, you can add a little bit of lip liner or you can skip the lipstick and just apply a lip liner since they tend to be very long lasting. The only thing is they can be a little bit drying, which is why I prefer to use a hydrating lipstick. But I will just do a little bit of lip liner to define my lip line. This is the Milani lip liner in the shade 04 All Natural. And the last step in my makeup look today is to set my T-zone with some translucent setting powder just to set the areas on my face that are a bit shiny and where I want to make sure that the makeup does not move during the day. This is the final look. This is my go-to everyday makeup routine for work. It takes very little time to do in the morning and you can recreate this look using any of the products that you already own, but I will list and link everything that I use today in the description box below the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey!